All right, guys, welcome back to the game. Uh, we are here for episode four. It is morning in the real world for me. I have my coffee. We're going to settle in and kind of head off onto our next adventure, or continuing this one at least. So what I did do off camera is I went ahead and got us, um, or I extracted enough stuff to get us what we need essence-wise to finish out this essence trader here, Irving. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in here. We already have all the simple items. Let's go ahead and get some realm cards. So we have our estate address card. This one's really cool. So this is the card um, that someone can use to go specifically to someone's realm. So if you craft it, you can give it to another player and they will always have access to your realm. Big warning on that. Only give this to someone you trust because they have access not just to pop into your realm, but to all of your buildings all of your chests and everything so your your portal systems i'm pretty sure so just make sure you use this for someone you want to play with right forever essentially i'm not sure if this loses access if you change your your band drum um but i i this one scares me <laughs> it just scares me a little bit all right, the Explorer card. You play this card to travel more quickly, improving your resistances to most forms of damage while reducing the damage you deal. So that one's pretty cool. It looks like we'll have a... Oh, this looks like... So it, these all change. Remember, they change the appearance of the realm you're in, or most of them do. So this looks like it'll give us the purple tree, orange ground deal with the balloons in the air. And then the Angler card... So play this card to improve your fishing skill and yield, hiding you from hostile sight while fishing. So that's why you can so you can fish in peace and get more fishes. Fish is plural. All right, and then the feast card. Play this card to prolong the effects of a meal, grow hungry more slowly, and heal more quickly. That one looks useful. All right, we already have all the light. I'm gonna close that. Buildings crude, and this should be our last one. Is advanced stone ruse. Go and buy that refinement. We got all that basics we got all that all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk to our npc wilhelmina and it looks like she has a quest also i'm gonna read this dialogue what i am not going to do is branch off into all of the like because there's optional dialogue choices that like uh answer a lot of questions about the world and, and give you lore and stuff um but for the purpose of timing on this video speaking of which i'm gonna start a timer real quick um I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna cover those. Mostly because I'll just be reading. <laughs> I'll just be reading for an hour, and we don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Ah, a visitor. You're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm, and your appearance is a most welcome surprise. Who might you be? And so you get options. You can choose, and she will respond accordingly. So I'm just gonna let her know that I'm a refugee of the calamity, new to these realms, and trying to survive. Quite refreshing to meet such an open book, surely filled with tales worth telling. There are a great many new faces in the realms of late, with a great many stories to tell. Collecting such stories is my trade, you see. And sorry guys, I'm just waking up, so I'm a little slow on the reading. <clears throat> well, how many... This, we're just going to call, call her Helmina. So, Helmina Sase, columnist for Nightingale's finest paper, a Sunday courier. Overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in need of more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companions here can provide. We've always time for a new customer. So see, you can, um, you can ask her about the pale and what she knows since she's a reporter from Nightingale City. You can ask her, you know, if these merchants over here work for the paper. So you can do many things. And then you can ask her about rumors. This will eventually like help you get more quests down the road, but we're going to hit the top one real quick. You mentioned protection. That I did. My esteemed colleague here is always looking for work. I'm sure they're about somewhere. Yeah, she's staring us in the face on her left over there. They're a quiet sort, but I'm sure you'll find them to be a capable combatant, builder, and roustabout. Whatever you might require. So this is our NPC we're about to get. And I imagine they'll be quite willing to accompany you once their work here is finished. Well, that seems reasonable. All right, so here we got the tip about survivors. You guys feel free to pause and read those. All right. Of course, 
If no one here is to your liking, there are plenty of capable wanderers in the realms. Let uh, left mum chance by tragedy. I don't know what mum chance means. And more than willing to offer their arm in exchange for a realm walker's aid. So this is basically giving you your how you're going to recruit companions. You'll have aid point of interests out in the world, similar to that occupation thing we did. And if you complete the building, then they become recruitable and you get rewards, which is super cool. All right. And having seen much of the wider realms, I'm sure they've seen... Uh, God, I can't read this morning. And having seen much of the wider realms, I'm sure they've each some fine tales we could pry out once you bring them back here. Any new traffic, no matter how meek, is good for business after all. All right, let's ask her if she's heard any rumors now. Ah, you'd like to hear something a bit more current? I can most certainly indulge you. Of course, I'm sure a reasonable realm walker like yourself can understand that in such turbulent times, I simply cannot ply my trade for free. I'll just have a little peek at the echoes in that hermetic guidebook of yours in return. A chance to peek directly into another's thoughts is one I would relish. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if this is... So you guys know in like No Man's Sky where um, your discoveries basically... Um, like there was that NPC in, in the hub and the more discoveries you had, the more nanite, nanites you got. I don't know if that's what she's describing here or if she's just referencing your current you know, what quests you've completed and not, and or not, and that's how she knows what rumors to give you. I don't know, but she's going to look at her book, and then we're going to ask her if she's seen anyone notable. It seems there are a great many of your fellow realm walkers about, as near as the forest antiquarian realms, though you may wish to be wary there. I met one Aurelio Acevedo Ortega in my journeys, and never have I seen someone so clearly plagued by the gold sickness. The influence of magic can wreak havoc on the mind, and despite his rather dull sensibilities, I've no doubt the man is mad. Have you heard about anyone else? I take little pleasure in sharing this bit of news, but it seems the great Nellie Bly managed to escape from the dam from damnable New York and survive the pale. Should you meet her, know that she and her writings are tedious, moralizing, and an always contemptible. Her banal alphorisms aphorisms, geez, even cheated her a seat as the explorer's second. But last I checked, journalism hardly qualifies one to lead realm walkers, and I'm sure you'd agree. All right, so that's it. Okay, um, that's all for now. That was a lot, Helmina. Okay, so, um, just to recap, we're gonna help out... Oh, look at Edith. She's so cute with her axe and her hat. So we're going to help out Edith here. She's trying to build them all some beds and a place to make some food. So we're just going to help her out with that. Okay, we need some rocks too. All right, so let's grab these resources really quick. Because I want to grab her, um, Edith, I think that was her name. But I want to take her back to base with us. Because then, whenever, you know, we get overcome by the creatures, uh, listen to the fade noises coming off this tower here um but once we um get her following us like if we get downed she can pick us back up and vice versa that way uh you know we don't fully have to die which is super helpful in this uh higher difficulty low eye level scenario <laughs> we put ourselves in all right we need six rocks that's five now we have nine also, if you guys notice, I can't I can't count to save my life. So, um, I'll I'll fully say the wrong number of items I need. Understand that that's just because I'm misspeaking, and I'll figure it out pretty much. Okay, so I think we need more sticks. All right, so we have I think plenty of fiber now. I'm gonna go ahead and get one more. Now oh, we're getting tired. All right, so let us, there we go. Oh goodness, are you serious? We need one more stick. Boom. And you see that? We also got a chest, a reward. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got 30 essence. That's something at least. All right, and so 
It doesn't really do like a whole flashy call out or anything, but once you finish building whatever they're working on completely, they'll, the title over their head will change to recruitable. So let's get Edith. She's going to be our gung-ho adventure buddy here at the start. Awesome. Also, just check out the detail on my food over there on the left. <laughs> Freaking love it. All right, so here is your companion window. It's very bare bones right now, but um, the companions are something they, they really want to do a lot with. They were inspired, if you played Sons of the Forest, they were really inspired by Kelvin. And so the fact that that's, you know, the outlook they have towards NPCs kind of has me excited because Sons of the Forest did it really, really well. All right, so um, you have two options here. You can dismiss them. And when you do that, they will drop their inventory, I've noticed. Um, and you can also manage equipment and inventory. This is also really cool because as long as you have it open, they can walk away as far as they want to, and it doesn't close, at least in my experience. <clears throat> so we have all of her clothes over here. Um, her stuff is actually better than ours. But we're going to let her hold on to that for now. Because <clears throat> we're about to go home and craft uh, our own stuff. And up here, I'll just show you guys really quick before I fast travel back to the house. So up here is where, um, this is the antiquarian side of power, which is why we need to get our gear score up. Um, because things in here, well obviously we can take on level 25 stuff, but it's not easy. Um, but things in here are strong, so it will actually keep you out. So that, um, you know, until, you, until you're the right gear level to, to sustainably do it. And, and some of those are pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. Um, I'll show you the mobs I can't stand later, but um, yeah, so we got to get our gear score up is what I'm getting at. So, what were, oh, I heard some essence drop out of that one. Oh, I must have picked it up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fast travel back to our house now. I'm trying to stay in the mic. Okay. Uh, oh, travel to respite. Confirm. And remember, you can travel to respite regardless of whether or not you're in this realm, right? So you can be five realms over and travel all the way back. Okay, so we are back home now. And what we need to do is start planning out our crafting stuff. So we have this over here. This is going to be our source of light initially. All right, I know for some armor we're going to need a tanning station. I'm just going to kind of put that in the corner there. And then for weapons, we're going to need a simple workbench. Put that here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's okay. And then, let's see. We're going to need a spinning wheel to make some thread. Masonry bench. Simple saw table. I don't know if I need a saw table yet. Do I have any wick? Oh, I do. I have one. Let's see how many it takes. Oh, it takes one. All right, so we're going to put a little candle. Uh, we'll put this uh, once we build it, because you can actually sit those little things on top of your crafting stations, which I love. It makes the augmentations like full-on decoration. All right, let's see here. Workbench, sewing bench. Oh, this is... We're going to need this to actually craft our... I'll put it here. Um, our new armor here in a second. And then an enchanter's focus. This we are going to need for... I'll kind of put it here and we'll make this our crafting corner. Um, but this we're going to need to make cards and stuff. But you see we need ingots, glass, and lumber, which means we're going to have to to refine some stuff down. Which reminds me, we need our smelter. Okay, so look at that. Now we've got a, a nice house with all crafting stuff ready to go. All right, let's see, what do we want to start with? There's that, let's go get some, um, we're gonna get some wood. Uh, Cause the first thing I want to get is a better weapon that's gonna raise our gear score um, a good bit and allow us to do some more damage. Oh, what is this? Hmm, I'll take it. <laughs> what is it, it's like a giant chandelier thing or something? Oh, and there's our NPC. She's cutting down some trees. Thank you, Edith. Alright, that should be enough for our... Um, our simple workbench. 
Boom. Done. Okay, pause to read. This is just going to tell you. I give you your tips, positive, negative implications, and all that. I suggest that you guys read these if you're having trouble with the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to plan out. Okay, so we have our umbrella. We're not ready for that. I want... What is it? Oh, simple wood axe. There we go. So we need straps, which means we're going to need to build our tanning table, uh, tanning station. And then we need a stone block. So that'll be easy. Boom. And then we should have plenty of hide at this point. So let's make, I was going to auto fill. <clears throat> oh, I should not have done that. Cause I don't know if I have any, see, oh no, you know, that's over there. We're good. I was going to say, I don't know what I have as far as. Uh, you know, better tiered stuff. So this is something I'm going to show you guys really quick. So this was a predator version. And then I'm going to make another set real quick. I'll just make one. And I'm going to do it with the prey one. I'm going to craft that really quick. And we're going to kind of show you guys the difference. So here's our prey one, right? So stay on there. So it gives us maximum stamina 10%, stamina regeneration per second plus 5%, cold resistance plus 5%. Oh, it's got the exact same thing. I thought this changed. Hmm. We'll see. I don't know. I was trying to talk like I knew something. Clearly, I don't. <laughs> okay, we need our wood axe. What do we need here? Oh, a stone block. Let's go get some stone real quick. Oh, we're, we're tired, that's why we are very low on stamina. I'm not even going to be able to swing my axe. Okay. Alright, we just went ahead and filled that up there. <clears throat> also, I want a chance to show you guys... Um, this place at night. So what I'm going to do for the episode, right, is I'm just going to, I'm not going to exit the game. I'm just going to kind of stop this recording and, um, no, oh, that's all we need. Uh, I'm just going to stop the recording and then start a new one for the next episode. I made sure to, to clear off, basically to move and back up all of the previous episodes. That way they're not taking up like 150 gigs on my all right let's see here we have simple wood axe autofill craft now we're in business all right so this is gonna take our gear score <gasps> oh no oh it's over here I almost panicked that's gonna take our gear score from six to 20 for a weapon, which is a vast improvement. Uh, just gonna extract that. All right, and we need to go ahead and make the rest of our tools now, so. Oh, I am gonna go ahead and make a sling bow while I'm at it. And then we're gonna need some more straps. Well, let me make sure we need some more straps, actually. No, no, we're fine. All right, mining pick. Yeah, we're going to need some more straps. Oh, man, all the effects are just awesome. All right, so see, now we have a decent pick that's not a bunch of twigs and rocks. I mean, it's still stick and rocks, but, but we're a step up from where we were at. Um, let's go ahead and do our sickle real quick. And our hunting knife. And then for an umbrella, we just need a wood bundle real quick. Alright. Let's do our sickle. Our hunting knife. And then we're just going to extract all these. Also, something to note. 
is your gear score will change depending on what you have equipped. I don't know if it's going to work with a torch. No. Um, but if I would have kept one of my weaker weapons and used that instead, then it would have... Uh... Oh, you got some... Can I please have that wood before you put it? Oh, you already put it into something, didn't you? All right, let's go. Uh... I'm going to grab some more... Oh, freaking hell. It's okay. We're about to make an umbrella. All right. So, see, that's much easier now. We have a semi-decent axe. Just take a second here and appreciate how freaking lovely this room is. It's like a sun shower. Alright, um, what was I doing? Oh, umbrella. Oh, and if you're in the crafting station, as long as you have a slot in your inventory, it will auto-deposit it for you. Alright, so we're going to replace our torch. Now we can go outside in the hail and not take any damage. Just listen to it real quick. It's so nice. Although in, in real life, I wouldn't trust a straw umbrella in a hailstorm. Just a little tip there. Um, okay. So now we've got our basic stuff for tools together. We need to get our things to craft. Oh, so I'm going to need fiber and bones. Okay, so let's see about making some animal fiber real quick. And this is going to take our meat. What do we have? Yeah, we're going to have to go hunting in a minute. Alright, so we got our animal fiber. Now it's... Boom. That was almost everything we needed. And notice that I just made animal fiber like an idiot. It wasn't asking for that. <laughs> it was asking for regular fiber from the bushes. Alright, uh, we need some wood blocks. Oh, it's not hailing anymore. I'm gonna get a couple of these while we're out here. Like, a few more than what we actually need. Oh, come on. Um. Uh, don't pick up my wood. And don't forget, guys, just hold down E and everything magically flies to your inventory with the coolest little effect, and I hope we don't lose that effect. I mentioned that whenever I did my first little series. Um, because there's so many complainers about the silliest stuff, like, people will complain just for the sake of complaining today on the internet, and it's, it's freaking depressing. Not, I mean, not really depressing. I shouldn't use that, unless I'm actually depressed. But, um, it's just, it's exhausting. That's the word I'm looking for. It is truly exhausting. All right, we got all of our stuff. Now we're gonna go back over here to our house. Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to go hunting for a while. We still got plenty of food. All right, let's get my axe back out. Okay, now we have our spinning wheel. I'll finish that in a second. Boom, and now we have our sewing bench. So now we can actually. Oh look, there's a backpack. We need that. Um, oh well, actually we may be going hunting. Because we're going to need a good bit of leather. And simple shirts. Okay, so let's... Do I have any hide in here? I do have three. Alright, let's see how much leather we can crank out real quick. Alright, and this one's going to take a little bit longer to process, so I'm just going to look and see if there's any animals right outside. I can go ahead and knock down. And I think in the next episode, because um, we're getting near about time on this one, um, in the next episode I'm going to go back to that point of interest that kicked our butt and uh, see if we can't reclaim some dignity. Oh wait, oh I forgot to make bullets. I was going to say I could hunt those deer. But, uh, they'll run away before I can really get to them. I'm gonna get lost doing this. I did not plan out this adventure at all. Alright, let's see. 
I was hoping to see some... Ooh, that looks creepy. I was hoping to see some... Some wolves or something. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even know what that is. I can't remember if I've seen it <laughs> yesterday or not. Oh, dear. It's gonna be a freaking side of power, I bet. Oh, I guess we've already been here. You see, this this is why th these games are good for me. I will look at the same... Yep, I've already been here. I'll look at the same crap and assume this is a brand new place I've never seen before. Alright, let me go ahead and pick up that wood. Thanks, Edith. Alright, I'm not seeing a whole lot of animals out and about this morning. So, we're going to go ahead and head back and get the leather that we um, were able to craft and get us a backpack. Um, that way... As we're out looking for resources, we can hold more and we will be more effective. I hear Edith chopping away at trees back there. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. So, and if you notice, like, we only have seven more, you know, gear levels to increase and then we'll be good. Oh wait, that's not what I'm doing. Did I get it? Oh yes, I got it. Okay. Now, we're gonna make our pack first. Autofill. And now, we actually have a backpack. So, it increases our maximum health, which is good. It increases, it looks like, our blocking and stealth rating. And then durability, and then how much weight. I think is is what it'll add to us. I'm not 100% positive. Okay, so where are we at? Where are we at? All right, our gear score went up one more. Let's see if we can't make some more leather, and then I'll call this. No, nope, we're out. We cannot. All right, so I'm gonna call this episode here, and then um, I'm gonna get us some more resources. I think off camera to um, finish building out our. Hmm, to finish building out our simple smelter. That way we can get things cooking while we head out. Oh, before I leave, I do also need to... Where is refinement? Oh, this is refinement. I need a table saw. Uh, we'll put it... We'll put it over here. And it's basically losing the campfire because it's so far, but... Um, that's okay. I'll build something over there to light it. All right. Oh, and before I forget, I know I'm, I'm the world's worst. Um, let me go ahead and place this candle. See, that's going to give light to all the things. Boom. And it's actually light. So when we're working on our simple workbench here, we have a source of light now. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to go have some more coffee. Um, I'm not going to leave the game. I, I remembered. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go exploring at what's probably going to be nighttime at some point. Um, it looks like the sun's getting ready to go down so thank you guys for joining me uh this one's been fun and i'll catch you in the next one sage out